apologize to my wife or something bad's gonna happen. The internet is mad at Josh Peck right now for not defending Drake Bell. How's it going today, folks? So we discussed in a previous video about the drama behind the Drake and Josh show and Drake Bell's accusations against the Nickelodeon cast and crew. But we're gonna be talking about Drake and Josh, AKA Josh Peck and Drake Bell and their friendship. So since the end of the Drake and Josh show back in 2007, Drake and Josh have reunited several times, kind of using their fame and the fact that they're reuniting as a bit of exciting news for all the fans. And I mean, from the outside, it seemed like they were starting to get close with one another. You'd consider them at least acquaintances. Well, Josh ended up having his wedding with his wife. He invited some friends like David Dobrik, which some could argue, are they best friends or are they internet coworkers? Who knows? But one person that was pretty upset by not being invited was Drake Bell saying things like, when you're not invited to the wedding, the message is clear. Yeah, that's pretty clear. He was not invited. True colors have come out today. Message is loud and clear. Ties are officially cut. I'll miss you, brother. So I mean, from an outsider's perspective, it is really hard to see how close they truly were. But Drake was pretty upset that he wasn't invited to Josh's wedding. And so was the internet. So after these tweets were posted, the internet started going after Josh Peck and his wife, very upset about the fact that Drake wasn't invited to the wedding. And Josh ended up confronting Drake at the VMAs, vlogging on his YouTube channel about it, and basically asking Drake to go apologize to his wife for causing this drama. Right. Holy <laughs> come on. What's up, buddy? Is this happening right now live as we, is this really right now live? Stream live. Please Wait, tell is this Facebook streaming? to be nice to me. Oh my God, Please. it's not even my fault. <laughs> Just lay off. Thank you. You heard that, Facebook, it's all good. Chill out. We love lay you. off, man. So, I mean, you could tell this was sort of a passive aggressive ambush with some smiles involved. It seemed like Josh was being half friendly, half mad. And there's more evidence that proves that in this other clip. Here's my wife, right, who's like getting torn down on the internet and I'm like, she's private and she just got married. I was at the Video Music Awards and I see him there and he sees me. And this might be the most Sopranos thing I've ever done. And I look at him and I go, go apologize to my wife right now. And he goes, okay. And he like made a beeline for my wife and I see him do like this whole five minute performance of an apology. Apologize to my wife or something bad's gonna happen. Drake talking online seemed like it was more directed towards Josh. It was definitely immature to make it public when he could have just went to Josh himself and spoke about how he was upset by not being invited to the wedding. So, I mean, that was definitely an L on Drake's part. But I mean, Josh telling him to go to apologize to his wife when this really had nothing to do with his wife. It's not really Drake's fault that the internet started attacking Josh's wife. But regardless, clearly 10 Tensions were high here. So this is what Drake Bell and his wife had to say about this encounter. Josh Peck confronts Drake Bell at VMAs. I had my big soprano moment. Like, oh, big tough guy. The whole clip was like that he said, like, apologize to my wife, like, or something bad. Or gonna bad happen. things will happen bad, or something. And I was like, like, what? bad things could have happened. I know, right? So yeah, it is kind of weird that Josh Peck made it sound like he's this alpha male who kind of alluded to violence if Josh Peck didn't go apologize to his wife. It was a little immature. Josh is walking up and he has a camera and he is vlogging you. Mm -hmm. Like, I, and, and then, then Josh yeah. walks up and shaking with his camera. Like, yeah, and the rest hey! is on. And it's, uh, like, and it's like all on video. Yeah. We were all smiling, laughing. Yeah. He did ask you to apologize Rightfully yeah, he did. So. Yeah, yeah. Like, I wanted to, you know? You, I want to say sorry to Paige. I mean, it was actually a really nice moment. Like, Paige and Dude, I exchanged I numbers. I, like, we were all like, let's grab dinner. And we did. Many, many times. times. So after watching those clips, it's hard not to defend Drake here. He just seems way more level-headed. His wife seems pretty chill. And the fact that in retrospect, Josh went on to say, yeah, I had this Sopranos moment. I made him apologize to my wife. Like, it just all sounded pretty petty, especially since they made up and you even filmed it like you got your video dude you did not need to go on and like gloat about it in the future and they even go on to explain here that they hung out plenty of times they exchanged numbers with his wife they went to parties together like what is going on here you can't flip-flop on how you feel about a person that you made up
up with, he made his mistake and he apologized and he was happy about it. He's like, oh, we we weren't friends. We didn't hang out. And, and it's delusional because I'm like, bro, it's like we worked at Coffee Bean when we were 16. Like, I'm sorry, I, I'm 31 now. I might have lost your number. So anyways, fast forward and Drake Bell is exposing Nickelodeon. During this new docuseries called Quiet on Set, where he explains that Brian Peck assaulted him and there's a lot of exposing about Dan Schneider. And not only was Josh Peck silent about this whole thing, he also received some backlash, which he did not really need to respond to, but this is how he responded to it. I haven't talked to you since 2023. Take that as a fucking sign that you don't exist to me anymore. Damn, you fucking bug. You got sprayed with the raid. Bye. See you in that bar. And people started talking on Twitter. One person said, y'all are finally realizing that Josh Peck is a piece of shit. So that's why Josh Peck didn't invite Drake Bell to his wedding because he defended Dan Schneider and denied the allegations. Now, I couldn't find any information on him defending Dan Schneider, but he definitely didn't go after him or make any statements. Fuck you, Josh Peck. No integrity ass bitch. You took that hush money and been shitting in victims? Is he like physically shitting inside them? Uh, the internet is forever and you'll be known as a pedophile supporter. Sick bitch. I'm officially off the Drake Bell hate train, fuck Dan Schneider, fuck Josh Peck, and fuck Nickelodeon. The fact that Josh Peck has been blocking anyone who talks about that new Nickelodeon documentary is suspicious as fuck. Can't confirm or deny that. So I don't know if he needed to defend him or not, but I think the principle of it, maybe he should have. So Drake ended up defending Josh on all the hate towards him, and this is what he had to say. I just want to let you guys know that um, this is really... Uh you know, processing this and going through this is a really emotional time and a lot of it's very, very difficult. Uh, so not everything is put out to the public, um, but I just want you guys to know that he has reached out to me. It's It's been very uh, sensitive, um, but he has reached out to uh, to talk with me and, and help me work through this and has been really, really great. So I just wanted to let you guys know that and to uh, take it a little easy on him. So yeah, this whole situation's weird. We don't know if Josh Peck's TikTok was about Drake Bell. He was shitting on somebody and people were thinking it was about Josh, but Drake clearly just said that Josh reached out to him. All I know is that Josh Peck just seems like a very immature dude, very catty, very emotional. But at the end of the day, we don't know these people personally. So these are just like my opinions based off of what I see. But anyway, guys, that is it for today. Fun fact, karaoke means empty orchestra in Japanese. And you guys know the drill. Ta-ta for now.